the time has come. Z-Box has finally delivered their exclusive cinder block. I joke, but actually if you were to pick this up for yourself, I would pity the poor post person that would have to deliver this Z-Box to my door. This one is definitely one of the heaviest Z-Boxes to be delivered to my door. Z-Box, what is Z-Box? It's the mystery box made for geeks, and every single month Z-Box delivers t-shirts, collectibles, and apparently cinder blocks based on the weight of this box. No, I kid, but we're going to go ahead and get this opened up and find out what's inside. Uh, I will provide the link down below, so if you guys are interested in picking this up for yourself, or subscribing, I should say, for Z-Box, the link will be down below. Without further ado, let's see what exactly was so heavy inside to cause this humbled reviewer to strain and let out agonizing moans. Let's find out. Now, I see a whole bunch of Game of Thrones stuff in there. I didn't want to give that away, but you probably can see it from where you're looking. Uh, we got ourselves a t-shirt. And what does the t-shirt say? Let's have a look. I'm just going to open this up. Uh, where's the size? I'm double check the size there. Size is okay. Uh, we've got ourselves Batarang, non-lethal ranged attack target locking guide. Down below it's got Wayne Industries. I'm guessing this is a radio controlled Batarang, kind of like what we would have saw from Batman Returns. That's my guess at least. That's pretty nice, a nice little t-shirt. Love the bright yellow. Bright yellow, that was sound effects actually coming from my mouth, just in case you were wondering. Uh, bright, sa uh, bright colors of the yellow on the black. Speaking of yellow on the black, we have a Vinimates, specifically Watchmen, specifically Ozmandius. I know I pronounced that incorrectly. I think it's Ozmandius. I always have a tough time saying that one character's name. Somebody's going to probably tell me down below. Probably 47 people. I kid you not, will probably tell me down below. Comes to us from the folks over at Diamond Select Toys. Let's have a look at the ones on the back. I think I actually reviewed some of the mini Vinny mates before. Um, I think I did Rorschach, and I think I did The Comedian. This would be the other, the second set consisting of Silk Spectre, Dr. Manhattan, as and Osmondius. Again, I probably incorrectly pronounced that. That's pretty cool. We got ourselves a Vinny mate. And let's see what is exactly so heavy. What was the heavy things inside? It seems we got not one, but two Game of Thrones officially licensed mugs. Wow, look at that. Don't worry, don't worry, I'll open this up as well. Open up the tab. Get the lid all opened up. And yeah, look at that mug. On the front we've got, of course, the, the throne, the throne of swords. I like how it's got, um, let me just describe it, like like you would really need me to describe it. You could probably just see it for yourself, but I like the fact that the, the mug is shaped kind of like a volcano. Uh, that is a hefty mug, and apparently so hefty, in fact, that they felt the need to include a second one. We got two different ones. They seem to be different, at least. Let's open it up and find out. Now, I have mugs that I share reluctantly with other members of this household. Now, I will have certain mugs that I may not share, and call me what you may, may, but I find there's specific mugs that I don't want anybody doing damage to. Some of these mugs you can't put in dishwashers, and yet I've had so many mugs that people in this household feel so continued to add to the dishwasher, destroying the lovely surface that's on the front. Now, here I'm believing, I'm going to look on the underside here, it does not say, maybe it should say on the box here, let's have a look here. I do not see a section where it says dish, dishwasher safe. I mean, it's a ceramic mug, so I'm going to assume probably something you will want to wash by hand. If anybody is watching this video that happens to dwell in this household as I do, uh, hands off. Those, you, you can't have those. Somebody's like, oh, come on, don't be so mean. No, 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 no. Uh, last and certainly not least, we got the superheroes, Lego superheroes. This is the Milano from Guardians of the Galaxy. It seems to be a straightforward build, so why not? Why don't we actually build it right now? And move everything to the side. I'm going to bring that down. Kind of a weird pairing when you think about it. It's got Game of Thrones mugs. We got a Batman T-shirt, and we got Watchmen. Now we got Guardians of the Galaxy. Make sure we got all the pieces out. I really was not expecting to build anything, but more than happy to oblige. Want to make sure I got all the pieces out, though. 
that would really suck, wouldn't it? If we got this far and then Butterfingers here forgot to take all the pieces out of the bag. I'm gonna dump out all the contents like so. I'm gonna open up our manual. I can't imagine there's many steps involved. Let's see here, there's 12 on one side. There's 20, 20 steps. That seems pretty easy enough. I say pretty easy enough, let's have a look. Okay, so we're gonna need some black pieces. Uh, where are the, this is not a good, this is not a good way to start. Where are the black pieces? I need, oh, they're gray. <laughs> ah, that's not a good way to start. Okay, so we're gonna take this piece. We're gonna take this on this other side. I'm gonna build that to give us this. That's all we need so far. And then we are going to take this part, take a white square, and on the underside of the white square, we are going to have to add, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? We need a gray piece. Now, the gray piece is a two piece. Where is it? I don't see it here. I'm quickly, quickly regretting my decision to build this. Let's have a look here. Let's not give up quick, let's not give up too quickly. I need this piece right here. Now, I didn't see anything in the bag. Let me just double check. Let me just make sure everything's, everything is accounted for. I don't see anything else in this bag. I don't see anything in this bag. So where is this other piece? Don't tell me we're already missing a piece. That's not a good way to start. Put that over there. We would need this piece here. So maybe it's underneath stuff. Maybe I, maybe it rolled away. Well, it shouldn't roll away because it is a flat brick after all. I'm going to assume it's this piece here. I mean, the coloring. I think it's it's the coloring that's throwing me off. That looks a lot darker than this piece here. But I'm going to assume it's this this part. So that's going to go like that. This is going to go on the underside, like that. And then we are going to take this part. That's going to snap right there. I think now we're going to make some considerable progress. Potentially where there was no progress being made before. That's going to attach like so. All right, now this is easy. Oh, I, sh I shouldn't have said that. That was a big mistake on my part to say that. That's going to go like this. Pardon me that the instructions are over here. That's going to go over there. That's going to attach the top. This is going to attach. Where is it? There's the other piece right there. Just like that. And that's what we've got so far. Now we can add this four but this four brick or two by two. And that's going to go like that. We are going to take this, this part. And we're going to add this kind of smooth top to it. That's going to attach like so. And then we are going to add, I think this is actually the first time I've built anything for Z-Box. I don't tend to get a lot of brick building things inside. And we are going to pull, I need this part right here. And I need to take, that's gonna go like that. We can all, certainly, most definitely do that a second time because we need to, to, do, to make two of those. And where's the other part for it? The other part's right here. That's gonna go like that. Snap completely in place. This is gonna go to the side. And this is gonna go to the other side. There we go. I don't know if these are supposed to open and close. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they are. I just had to look at the next step. These are supposed to fold inward. And then we can take this part. That's gonna go like that. And then we're gonna take, this has to go on this side, covering over all those bricks we just put. That goes like this. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. This is basically where we are. I just wanna keep you guys in the know. We are, well, we are right here. So, I mean, that's, that's step nine. It would be very safe to say that we're about halfway through doing this. And we need to take, okay, that's right, that's right. Okay, now we gotta take these square pieces. That's gonna go on one side. And this is gonna go on the other side. 
This is going to go to the front, this gray piece, which is actually going to go this way. And we're going to take the orange brick that's going to go across. And again, this is where we are. Yes, everything's checking out. Everything's copacetic. Yes. Okay. Periodically, I may ask you guys just to double just to double check my work. I think that's crucial. Have somebody double check your work because you never know. I've missed steps before. I'm guilty of it. Well, you've you guys have seen. I've I'm guilty of it as well. So we need to grab this. That's going to go on this side. And we need to do the same thing. I'm kind of just hovering around with my hand, seeing if I can find those pieces that I'm missing. Okay, that is, that's page one. See, we're done right there. Flip it over. And this is going to go... Okay, this is going to go like... Did I miss a step? Let's just double check here. Oh, I did miss a step. See? If somebody was here to double check my work, that little white piece had to go there as well because this part is going to go over to the top and it needed obviously something to line up to. If not, it would be, it would just go way off, way off course. It's going to attach to the top. That's going to attach to the top. Kind of building a meaty little spacecraft, aren't we? I'm going to put a cockpit in. There it is right there. And we need to build, I'm going to take, we need to build this twice. So it'll give us some much needed practice. That's going to go inside like so. Like that. And then this is going to go on to the end. Like that. Okay, so we need to do that twice. Twice. Take the bottom, the lighter gray brick, add the dark smooth brick on top. Those are probably not the correct lego terms to be using for these specific bricks i'm sure any experienced lego builder could probably tell you oh that's a that's a quad brick okay all right it's going to go like this and then we're going to flip this around to the back and this goes where does this go this goes apparently right here oh okay all right that's good that's going to go like that on one side. Kind of hard to get your finger in there. There we go. That's one side. I suppose I could just simply edit this and cut away and all of a sudden the ship is all finished. But I feel like you guys enjoy the struggle of watching me build these. So there's the back. I'm guessing these are thrusters. If Is, is that correct? Is that a, that's a safe assumption? Being told that's a safe assumption. Okay. All right, so these, that's gonna go in like this, like that on one side. Then we're gonna take the other one. I kinda like these brick pieces. It, it's all these multiple ball joints. Okay, so that's gonna go on that side, that's gonna go on that side. Check, check, Roger, check, check. Mike, check, Mike, check. And that's gonna go on that one side. This is gonna go on the other side. And as you could probably guess it, there's gonna be a whole lot of other things gonna be attaching to the sides. So we are now going to add, I need this little wing. I guess we're just gonna be adding all these wings here. So that's gonna go there. That's gonna, that's gonna go there. I love, I love this. I love these. I like how they're all kind of attached to one another. And being again that they're ball joint, you could just rotate those. I gotta say the ship is coming together rather nicely. It's going to go like that. That's going to snap into place. And one more to go. Despite our humble beginnings, the little stumbling points at the beginning, I think we actually are making out rather well. I'm going to spin this around to the back because that's the way that the instructions would have it. And this is going to go to the top. We've got a blue wing there. This is a blue wing up here. You wanna make sure when you are putting it in that the angled parts, apparently according to the instructions, are facing forward. So if the instructions are telling me that, God, God darn it, I'm gonna, gosh darn it, I should say. Gosh darn it. I'm gonna do my best to attach that appropriately. That's gonna go like that. And that's gonna go, I need, I need this brick. It goes like this. 
And we've got ourselves wings, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. There we go. That's what it looks like on the front. And I think the only other thing we have to do now is we have to add this is the this is the make or break part that's gonna go like this this is gonna go on to the other side Whew, working up a sweat again I wasn't expecting this sort of pressure everybody's watching me I feel like I can't handle the stress <laughs> All right, I think that's it. I'm looking at the, okay, I'm looking at the instructions. That seems right, doesn't it? We got a couple of extra pieces. I don't see anywhere else where these pieces are supposed to go. There's a blue light up there. No other sections, no other areas. And even like looking at the final product, is that right? Did I do, did I do this right? I think I actually did miss one step. Oh boy, he misses one step. I think the other thing I was supposed to do was this is supposed to go to the front, like that. And then this was supposed to attach. There we go. It was only because I looked at this and I noticed, hey, wait a minute, there's there's a piece on the front that I know I left off. Whoops-a-doodle. Other than that, I think everything else is finished. And now we've got the ship. Cool little ship here. And it does have, this can pose. This has a little posability. I guess you can't rotate these too much. You can bend these a little bit, I guess. That's a pretty neat looking ship, I have to admit. <sighs> so let's have a look at all the things that we got. And in the process of doing so, it looked like we actually built something too. I really wasn't expecting that. We got ourselves a t-shirt to start off things. We got ourselves the Watchmen vinyls of Osmandius. I know I said that incorrectly. Not one, but two contributing to the sheer weight of this box two game of thrones mugs i like those and then last and certainly not least we built ourselves a ship really wasn't expecting that but a nice little ship nonetheless i think i'll keep it if you guys are interested in subscribing let's just move those out of the way there there we go product placement right there if you guys are subs interested in subscribing to the Z Box, I'll put the link down below. Today we were having a look at the Z Box, which I'm guessing was for April. For the fact that we are now kind of into the first few sprinklings of May, I would guess then that this was for the April box, the April 2019 box from the folks over at Z Box. If you guys haven't had a chance yet to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so. And also apparently what you need to also do is hit the no notification bell and select uh, set all notifications. Apparently without that, I'm just lost. I'm just floating in a cloud. I'm, I'm in the quantum realm. I'm in the quantum realm and I need someone to find me. Uh, so hit that bell notification down below and select notify all. And then of course that will hopefully guarantee that when new videos are coming to this channel, you won't miss a beat. Probably still will miss a beat, but we'll do our best. We'll kind of hopefully YouTube, I'm sure, is always changing, and it'll change again next week. But in the meantime, this is what will work, as far as I know. Uh, more videos, guys, will be coming away. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.